after riding 180 kilometers yesterday maybe i've overdone it a little bit i was planning to do it in two days but you know it happens you just keep pushing and pushing and then you get to the 180. i slept in a town called kitila and then this morning i drove 30 kilometers to reach what is for me the start of the european divide trail behind me you can see the gravel road and i'm expecting to have like 30 or 40 kilometers of gravel ahead of me all rolling hills so this is gonna be something new excited whoop, whoop. Got some sandwiches, got some cheese, some tomatoes, and a perfect little spot at the river for lunch. Or so I thought. I still have a lot to learn, clearly. It's filled with mosquitoes here. I mean, filled, getting bitten, getting bitten, getting bitten. I did use some repellent, but mosquito don't care. Good morning. Still have to be a bit silent. There are some, still some people sleeping. Because yesterday, after driving about 105 kilometers or something, I arrived at this little trekker's hut in Sweden. Yes, I'm back in Sweden. There are already two Lithuanian motorbikers here. They waved me over, gave me some tea. We had a little chat. Mm. And I could stay over. I mean, one of the guys slept inside, the other guy slept in his tent. And I slept in my tent as well. So, but they're still sleeping at the moment. I'm planning to break up, probably have breakfast with them and start to make a move again. But this spot is, it's amazing. I'll turn around my camera and, and I'll film it so you can see it. There's this little river passing by. It also runs behind the trekker's hut. On the left you see the little shed for the wood which you normally have to refill when you use it, but apparently it's empty when they arrived and not much to it to find. In the trekker's hut you have a little terrace and a room to sleep, but also a little open fire and more river in the back. So the guys from Lithuania, they caught some pike yesterday, they brought fishing gear. So I told them, yeah, I brought some myself as well. I'm gonna try to catch a fish. I'm like, I have a line, I have some hooks. They're like, oh, you're gonna make your, your thought like I'm gonna make my pole myself. I'm like, no. I thought I'll just throw it in the water and I'll see if I catch something. They didn't feel that was gonna work out, but we'll see, I told them. I'll try, if it works, it's a cool picture. If it doesn't, well, we tried. Just enjoying my breakfast. Today it's scrambled eggs, beans and tomato sauce, and some nice tea made on an open fire. Yeah, all good. Now, yesterday I didn't do too much of filming. Kind of a shitty day. Mm. Was on the European Divide Trail. So I had like one of the last opportunities to buy some groceries for the next day and a half or two days so went to the shop got everything enough food for two days tried to pay didn't work I was like oh I'm smart I brought a second card I'll try my second card didn't work so I asked the shop owner like where is there a bank so I can maybe like withdraw some money and he's like 90 kilometers away I'm like what so I checked it out like way off route mm. and my only other chance was to drive 40 kilometers for another small shop where I thought if I can't pay there then I'm in a bit of a pickle because then I was out of food I only had like a can of tuna mm, a 
cu half a cucumber and three slices of bread left. So I needed to di divert away from the European Divide Trail. Went down to Payala, a small city with a few shops. Did some groceries there, so cart worked, all good. Um, and now it's a question how to get back to the trail without losing too much time. Because um, I still want to make it to Gensis Tibisis. So today I'm aiming for about 150, 160k maybe, getting close to Bowden. Don't think I'll be able to make it all the way, which would be 180 or 200 kilometers, depending the road I take. So let's see what happens. But we are at least started with a good breakfast. Sun is blue and the views are gonna be amazing again. Oh yeah, I slept in an old abandoned football terrain.
let's see how far we get. I'm not gonna push it too hard until my body feels a bit better again, until I'm ready to do some more kilometers in a day. As I was saying, yesterday was a bit of a struggle. Today went a lot better. I mean, cycling went pretty okay. I mean, still feel the ass, still feel the hands, the back, the knees. But it went pretty okay, did about 100 kilometers. I was aiming for a shelter about 18k away from here. Um, so I was counting for another hour of riding. Decided to stop along the road. You can see the cars passing by. Decided to stop along the road at this little parking spot. Just drove up. And then I saw there was this little table. So I went to the table and then I realized I'm next to a lake and what do I see? What is this? Might this be one of those nice Swedish shelters? Could it be? I'm walking down. I'm walking down. There are some boats over here. Just next to the lake. I mean, the view. It is amazing. Check this out. Check out the view. Damn. Now, went to the shelter. Saw this door, opened up the door, yes, big fireplace, seating area, loads of firewood, but it wasn't over yet, it was not over yet, just closing up this door, god damn it. lake and then what is this what is this no way no way Jose that looks like a two-story shelter so going up this is the first floor a little open area With another great view of the lake. A bit of the glare of the sun. But then we go to the second store. Big hatch! Ah, it's a bit heavy! First thing we see is a dead bird. JJ don't care. Just look at this. Look at fucking this. Yeah. Windows. Amazing view. All safe. All good. This is amazing. Yes. Start of day eight. This was a good night at the lake. I got stung probably by 345 mosquitoes or something. Still, good night. Now tonight the target is Lixele or something, about 85 kilometers away. Hope to be there as soon as possible. Gonna try to find a hotel, give my back a bit of rest, get my bike a little bit in order, get it cleaned up, get my chain looped, get my brakes cleaned, get everything checked out. So I'm ready to start tackling the rest of the European Divide Trail. Missed a few stages, but I hope I can stay on it for the rest of the course.